Okay, so today we are making German roulade. And it's very simple. You need some German mustard, pickle slices, pickle spears, some bacon, a couple of beef bouillon cubes, and some thin sliced, uh, nice brujol steak I'm using. And I'm going to tenderize this. I'm going to pound it out. Okay. And then what you do is. You put this onion and the pickles and the mustard, then you roll it. Then we're going to um, braise it in the pan, the pan on the stove. And then once it's braised, we're going to add some water, some bouillon, um, beef bouillon, and a little bit of brown gravy. And we're going to cook it, let it slow cook for about an hour. So I'm going to come back. All you need is uh, one of these nice meat tenderizers. Go in and tenderize it. And if you get one of these pieces of brajol, we'll make two, uh, two roll-ups. This will make it nice and tender. This will spread it out a little bit, use the other side. Stuff in there. Okay. And then uh, we'll just get our knife and cut this right down the middle. So we'll get two roll ups out of it. Uh, nice, nice meat. These are on sale too. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to get that mustard and spread it right on there. This looks good. German. German roulade. There we go. Get that on there. And you want to, don't, you know, don't want to skimp with it. Then we're going to get some of these onions. Just kind of lay them up on there a little bit. Okay, you're also going to need some toothpicks or some uh, string to tie it. Alright, so we got a couple. Now we're going to get the. Uh, I'll put a piece of bacon, I'm going to put a pickle, pickle slice, and then I'm going to put a piece of bacon, and a little more onion. Okay, just mostly the onions for flavor. And another pickle spear, and then the other piece of the half of the bacon. Then you're going to take this, and you're just going to roll it, okay, and at the end, you want to get a um, nice toothpick to hold that all together, and just put it in your plate for now, and we'll be able to do those. I'm going to do that, right now i got three, i got another three to go, I'll come back once they're all rolled, and we'll fry them up in the pan, we're going to need some butter to fry them up. Okay, so now we got our butter, and we're going to cut about, um, I don't know, maybe four tablespoons. Okay, so we got our four tablespoons of butter. Okay, we're going to put a skillet in here, and see that melting up already. Okay, and I like to add a little bit of um, olive oil, just to help the, uh, so the butter won't burn. Because olive oil can take a little more heat than the butter. And we'll get that going nice and nice. Get that all nice and melted. Okay. Beautiful. And this is what our rodin looks like. Okay, so we're going to put these in the pan. And we're going to braise them on a high heat. Oh, for about uh, 10 minutes. Then we'll flip them around a little bit. Make sure we get them all cooked on each, each side. And again, use the spring or the toothpicks. And then once that's all braised up, 
We will then add uh, two and a half cups of water, some uh, bouillon, and um, probably a half a cup of um, white wine for flavor. And we'll add a little salt and pepper to taste. That's it. And then it just simmers for an hour. And then uh, you just serve it up in a dish. You can have potatoes, rice, whatever else you like to have with it. And we'll make sure Wolfie gets a taste. We're about a couple of minutes into this, so uh, we'll give this a nice turn. You see that browning up real nice. That's what you want. Just to stir it. Okay. Flip it right over. There we go. And again, you know, you're going to get a lot of the flavor in there. Make it some pieces. a few more minutes. Okay, so you can see that's raised up pretty good. And now we're going to add in our uh, other ingredients. So we're going to get uh, two and a half cups of water and pour it right in there. Okay. Beautiful. Two bouillon cubes. Beef bouillon. Okay. And you want to put a a splash of white wine. We have the olive oil in there. And we have our use of sea salt just to taste. Right around the top. Okay. Good and some fresh black pepper in there. So this is really gonna cook up nice. Okay. And in this case, we're going to use some fresh garlic. And again, it's just to taste. That'll get into the, um, the broth. Maybe one more little bit. And that's optional. You don't have to put garlic. I have to like garlic. Okay. want to do is put this down on low and cover it up and set our kitchen timer for one hour and we'll come back and check it. Okay it's been in there for about 20 minutes. Uh, I got a little arc popping on and I'm just going to take these and give them a turn so that they cook nice and even. Mmm, okay. God, wow, does that smell good. And uh, hopefully by the time this is all cooked, down about an hour, we're going to have some nice gravy. Nice broth to go with this uh, rotten. And we'll keep it covered for now. So it'll steam up nice. Again, that's on low. It's on low, so. And we'll come back in another 20 minutes. Okay, it's been an hour. So we're going to take this cover off. Oh my god, what a smell. Wow, does that smell good? And this is what our rouladen looks like. I'm going to put it in this plate. Okay. Then we're going to let that cool off while it's in there. I'm going to keep this pan on the stove. I'm going to turn it up to medium and I'm going to add some flour to this just to uh, thicken up the gravy. And, uh, I'll just use a spatula. Okay. And just want to incorporate that flour. Okay. A couple of scoops should do. I really don't need a lot. You can almost see it bubbling up. Now, I'll get your picture out. See how it's like bubbling? Alright. I'll just incorporate that in there. That'll thicken up. That'll start to thicken up as the uh, 
as the um, flour cooks a little in that nice hot you can see it's starting to thicken and that's what you want just enough this is a very dark gravy but oh a lot of flavor a lot of flavor so cook that for a few more minutes and then we're going to pour it right over the roulade right in the in that nice dish so you can see that's cooling down you can see this is thickening up nice so when you move it and it takes a while for it to collapse on itself so uh, as it cools down it's going to get even more and that's it okay so we'll shut this down again we'll keep our spatula over here all that nice of gravy. It'll pour it right over. Provide it. Platter. This is really gonna be something. German by tradition. And made in America right here today. Good to last drop. Okay, so here we got a nice shot of this. That's what the roulade looks like. You see the, how dark the pickle got and the sauce. And that's cooling down. We're going to add it in a plate and uh, give it a try. Okay, we'll see. Oh, yeah, he likes it. Pickles the tail. It's a winner.